Thoroughbred Action is presented by Hardacre Farm. Hey everybody, off and running with just two dark days following here at Gulfstream Park. That's right, a special Wednesday card on Thoroughbred Action. Jason Blewett joining you right outside the walking ring. Nice little breeze coming in off the Atlantic Ocean as we have got a lot of ground to cover and breeze in fact right up to Pete Aiello for much, much more. New week of racing here in South Florida with nine races on the Wednesday program. A fast main track, a firm turf course, and temperatures in the upper 80s. First of the day over the turf at five furlongs. Claimers in for a price tag of $10,000. They've not won two. Scratch the alternates 11 and 12. We kick things off with a wide open betting race. Racing at Gulfstream. A step slow to get going, both Crimson Spade and Fuzzy Irish Rascal. White Smoke, one of the first to break the line. Andrew the Bull has speed from between horses. Down at the inside goes Ready with Honor. Far outside, it's Salty Kinda Dog. Then Crimson Spade racing ahead of Fuzzy Irish Rascal. Marquee Moon is toward the rail. Slamming on the brakes was our boss as Hardin beat him to the spot. And the early trailer is One Bad Ombre. Around the far turn, less than three-eighths of a mile remains. Andrew the Bull in front by a head. White Smoke on the outside. Second, Crimson Spade runs on to be third. From the outside in Fuzzy Irish Rascal tacking on pretty nicely while five wide then marquee moon and they're at the top of the stretch andrew the bull set down for the drive with two lengths to spare down the center fuzzy irish rascal is coming at him and coming on final eighth of a mile here's fuzzy irish rascal to take on andrew the bull late on the scene is marquee moon and hardened it's fuzzy irish rascal going away very close for a second i think andrew the bull holds on to beat hardened then marquee moon in 57 and three Nice stretch kick today with Jose Batista on board for number eight, Fuzzy Irish Rascal, who runs down the leader inside the final eighth of a mile. Our owner trainer, Vicky Smith. Once again, Jose Batista on board for the winning ride. Second, number five, Andrew the Bull, and third was the six, Hardened. We move now to the second race of the day, start of the early pick four, one mile over the main track, starter allowance, optional claiming event. Optional price here was $10,000. A field of eight went, up, went to the gate. The favorite was the four, on True. And they're off. From the center, Untrue gets the first call and fires to a clear advantage. From the inside, Miss Contessa looks to angle to the flank of the leader while second. On the far outside in color and colonel, and from between horses, it's Schmitz. Then back to the outside in Tormenta Doro ahead of Sip My Chardonnay. Down inside goes Amaluna ahead of Queen's Quarters as they run out of the chute. The opening quarter complete with Untrue in front, three parts of a length. Schmiss is second, Miss Contessa is third as they complete the quarter in 24 and 1. It's a gap of four to Color and Colonel racing ahead of Sip My Chardonnay. Then down inside, improving a bit as Queen's Quarters ahead of Tormenta de Oro and the late running Amaluna's last of the eight with less than five furlongs to run. They go to the half mile point. Untrue has the lead by a length and a quarter. Schmiss is second. The big mare, Miss Contessa, at the inside third, driven now behind an opening half mile that was picked up to 46 and four. Gap of three to sip my Chardonnay, then a ridden color in Colonel. Three wide tormented to Oro from between horses, Queen's Quarters. Nothing yet from Amaluna as the leader remains untrue. Five sixteenths from home. Untrue leads the way three parts of a length. Whip out on Schmiss second. From the outside, Miss Contessa continues to grind away from third. From the back, and Amaluna begins to get her rally going. She's very much in range. Only four lengths off the lead. Look out for her with three sixteenths to go. Untrue set down for the drive with an eighth of a mile more to get. Miss Contessa, Amaluna, they're both coming after Untrue inside the final furlong. Untrue by a length. Miss Contessa, Amaluna on the outside. Untrue still there. Miss Contessa's out of time. Untrue all the way. Second was Miss Contessa. Third was Amaluna and 137 and two. Really good price if you like number four, Untrue. She looked to be the controlling speed. She was indeed the controlling speed, but she had to fight off a couple of stretch challenges, getting the victory at a generous two to one under Amisael Jaramillo, or Armando De La Cerda and Stephen Trenchy. One, Miss Contessa second ahead of the two, Amaluda. On just four days rest, she closed ground to get third.
Back now for race number three on the program, one mile over the main track. Claimers in for a price tag of 12,500. Phillies and Mares went to post here with a field of six. Off-time favorites included the two, Galileo's Affair, and the four, Sweet Distinction. And they're off. From between horses, Baby Monster has asked for some early speed. Sweet Distinction will move with her. Did not meet it on the outside. Galileo's Affair comes away much closer than usual. She'll land a good tracking spot third. Sarah's Day is next, and far back in the early run, the trailer is draft. The top two going awfully quickly, it appears, with Sweet Distinction and Abby Medina working to a three parts of a length lead over Baby Monster as Reyes is reluctantly taking her in hand to yield while second. It's a gap of five to Galileo's a fair third behind a wicked quarter of 23 and one. Sarah's Day likes what she sees up ahead of her. She's racing fourth, but she's dropped better than 10 lengths off the lead, then did not mean it, and about seven or eight more to draft, who's an awful long way behind, although they are flat flying past the half mile. Into the far turn, they race. Sweet Distinction on the comeback try, won a 46 second half mile and leads the way by length. Racing in second is Baby Monster, third to Galileo's Affair. Sarah's Day is in fourth, two and a half lengths clear of did not mean it, then draft. Five sixteenths away, the pace starts to take its toll on Sweet Distinction. Here's Galileo's Affair, three wide with Baby Monster between horses. Sarah's Day at a one pace, but she's had plenty of pace in front of her. She's now into second, trying to run home as did not mean it and they're at the top of the stretch. Aramio gets serious on the leader, Galileo's Affair, who leads by two and a half. Baby Monster is there second, Sarah Sarah's Day to the outside third with an eighth of a mile to go. Galileo's Affair leads by almost two. Sarah's Day is second. Baby Monster is third, then did not mean it. Drifting to the center while well clear, it's Galileo's Affair to win it by two and a half. Two for Della Serta and Jaramillo. Sarah's Day second, Baby Monster third, did not mean it. Finish fourth. Number four, Sweet Distinction goes entirely too fast, entirely too soon. The beneficiary of that was number two, Galileo's Affair, who rallies for the score, giving Della Serta and Jaramillo back-to-back -back scores. This one for Crystal Racing Enterprises. It was one, Sarah's Day second, and three, Baby Monster third. To the fourth race now, the start of today's Rainbow Six, one mile over the main track. Claimers in for $6,250. Field of eight went to the gate. The favorite was the eight, San Filippo. And they're off. San Filippo appeared to be a step slow to begin. From the center, that's Shackelford Storm, who's away well and reaching up for the early lead. Here's W.W. Concerto moving up town toward the rail. On the far outside and moving a bit closer, strong composition as they exit the chute. Mr. Sultana and Illustrious Son make it five horses within a length of each other, working four ahead of San Filippo, then Solve, and Semblance of Order is last of all after an opening quarter in 23 and four. Down the back stretch they go. Shackelford Storm at a big price. Leads the way a half a length. W.W. Concerto second. Good spot here for Jose Alvarez aboard strong composition, three wide in the clear third. Mr. Sultana is in amongst rivals racing in fourth, a length and a half in front of Illustrious Sun. Then it's a gap of another three to San Filippo and Solve, and Semblance of Order, hoping to get something going soon through a 46 and one opening half mile. Around the far turn they go, three-eighths of a mile remains, and with the advantage, it's Shackelford Storm by a length. On the outside, strong composition is clearly second. It's a gap of four to W.W. Concerto and all in third. Trying to run home three wide is San Filippo while under heavy pressure. Solve has not made it up in much ground, nor is Semblance of Order with a quarter of a mile left to kick. Three quarters, one ten and three. There's a quarter of a mile left to go. Shackelford Storm has the lead. Strong composition is second. Three back to San Filippo, who ducks to the inside and comes on next. Final eighth of a mile. Shackelford Storm still in front. Strong composition takes another run at him on the outside. Shackelford Storm, strong composition, strong composition, surging to the lead. Strong composition will win it. Shackelford Storm was second. San Filippo was third. Semblance of Order ran home for fourth in 137 and one. Number eight, San Filippo got a slice but didn't get the top prize. The top prize goes to five. Strong composition off the best trip under Jose Alvarez for Aubrey Mirage and Sherry Racing. Four, Shackelford Storm comes up with a huge effort to be second ahead of the eight, San Filippo, who rallied for third. We move now to the fifth race of the day, the start of the late pick five, five furlongs on turf. Claimers in for $16,000, a field of 11. And this was a wide open betting race. And they're off. Very level beginning.
Toward the inside, Murray's girl, one of the first to break the line. Lady Greatness has speed. Touch of quality won't be far away. Richie's sister joins the vanguard, followed by Mojo's queen. Histrionics on the outside ahead of Wanda Girl. Length and a half to Love Flute down at the inside, Nola Fashion. The two at the back are Lil Smarty Pants and Truge. Past the half mile and moving to the far turn. And with the advantage, it's Murray's girl by ahead. Richie's sister up on the outside is right after her second. Two and a half clear of Lady Greatness, who's running into a good spot third. Back to fourth is Mojo's queen. Then comes Touch of Quality, Wanda Girl, Nola Fashion, Trujan, Love Flute, and they line up behind the leader. And the leader is now Richie's sister. Richie's sister off the turn with the lead. Lady Greatness to the attack is second. Down the center, Nola Fashion begins to motor. Back for more inside is Murray's girl. Final an eighth of a mile. Nola Fashion trying to get Lady Greatness. Lady Greatness has the lead. Nola Fashion a final push. Nola Fashion at Lady Greatness. Lady Greatness hangs on. Lady Greatness and Carmona turns away Nola Fashion in 55 and four. Wide open betting race and an upset to boot with number one Lady Greatness getting the money under jockey Kevin Carmona. Trainer David Rackoff in the Golden Age stable. Second number seven Nola Fashion who just missed ahead of the eight Wanda Girl who ran third. Time for a commercial break. Still to come, the late pick four. Maiden claimers over the main track when we come back right after this. And Go Zipper is pulling away. Go Zipper blows them away with an eye opening performance. Back now for race number six on the program, the start of today's late pick four. Six furlongs over the main track, maiden claimers in for $40,000. A field of nine. This was a wide open betting race. And they're off. From the center, Faith flies again, fires to the top, but quickly here's Katz Estray up to take over the lead. Katz Estray leads three parts of a length. Faith flies again away in second, all about Stella third. The newcomer out, the Bambina, is situated fourth early, a length and a half in front of Dude Secret. Then it's a gap of two to Crystal City ahead of Mortal Storm and Pray, 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 and the trailer is Sunshine Joy. Past the half mile and moving to the far turn, Panici and Katz Estray trying to string them out. They lead by two and a half over Faith flies again second. All about Stella is third, three better than Alta Bambina to the outside of Dude Secret. Gap of three to Mortal Storm, racing ahead of Crystal City and Pray, 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 and still nothing from Sunshine Joy. That's the nine of them as they run to the top of the stretch. With the lead, it's still Katz Estray, but here comes Faith, flies again, launching a bid. All about Stella's on her outside. From the back, Pray, 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 Pray begins to motor for Jaramillo. Swinging to the center is Mortal Storm with an eighth of a mile to go. Pray, pray, pray out in the center. Up to challenge for the lead. Faith flies again right alongside. Late run from Mortal Storm. Final 16th. Pray, pray, pray has the lead. No need to pray. You're home safe. Pray, pray, pray. Well done it. Faith flies again second. Close third. I think Dude's secret outdoes Mortal Storm. Then all about Stella in 113 flat. Favorite has to settle for second as number five, Faith Flies Again, was dueled up in the early part of the race. Fresh off the pace was number one, Pray, 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 who gets the money. The daughter of Rattlesnake Bridge gets the maiden diploma, giving Amisael Jaramillo his third winner of the day. This one for Juan Carlos Abario and owner Costa Brava. We moved out of the seventh race of the day in the start of the late pick three. Today's seventh race on turf at five furlongs. An allowance optional claiming event. Price tag here was $16,000. Scratch the eight, nine, 11, and 12. It's a field of eight. The off-time favorite was the 10, Aries Gone Gray. Good start in the center for Majestic Secret, who hits the ground running. Here's Capital S quickly up to assume a clear lead. Capital S now leads by two. Majestic Secret is second toward the rail, and Amicio Tunia, who's now third, ahead of particularity in fourth, followed by First Step and Dominic, and the early trailer is Harry's Gone Gray. They leave the backstretch and move on to the far turn. Visions of You calls the shots, rather Capital S calls the shots with a two-length lead. Majestic Secret is second, Amicio Tunia 
Victoria third. Dominic is fourth. First step has to pick it up with Harry's Gone Gray on his outside. At the back, Visions of You and Particularity as they run to the top of the stretch. There's a quarter of a mile left to go. Capital S wheels off the turn with the lead. Amicia Tunia toward the rail down the center and Harry's Gone Gray with first step. But Capital S is strong up front. Capital S with a gate to wire score coming. He's an easy winner. Capital S sharp with a capital S by three and a half. Second Majestic Secret, third was first step. Number three, Capital S makes his second start off the layoff, a winning one under jockey Edgar Zayas, the son of Wildcat Air, ran well against similar horses last time out. Today, he got the lead and he got an easy victory. Ralph Nix, the winning trainer for Belvin Stables. We did have a DQ here, number six, Majestic Secret was disqualified from second and placed fifth for stretch interference to number 10, Harry's Gone Gray. A passion for horses and a commitment to breed champions is the foundation of Hardacre Farm. Founded by Amy Tarrant, owner, breeder, and trainer, Hardacre Farm, based in Ocala, continues its tradition of success. From the Breeders' Cup to Gulfstream Park, Hardacre Farm. From the breeding shed to the racetrack. In pursuit of producing the best. Back now for race number eight on the program. Start of the late daily double at six furlongs. Claimers in for $25,000. These are fillies and mares. Scratch the one and two, a field of five. The favorite was the seven, Sammy Sunshine. And uh, they're off. The favorite, Sammy Sunshine, one of the first to begin and smoothly takes a clear advantage over Whip Me Into Shape second, Sophie Germain third. Enigmatica is at the rail in fourth and the early trailer is the stretch running Cotton to ya. It's the fleet-footed Sammy Sunshine who leads the wheel away by a length and a quarter over Sophie Germain and second and with a whip me into shape. Back to fourth is Enigmatica and allowed to settle this cotton to you. Half a mile from home, 22 and 2 for a reasonable opening quarter speed. Sammy Sunshine in control by two. Whip me into shape trying to take up the slack second. Sophie Germain working harder third. Enigmatica driven and not responding at all and the trailer is cotton to you. Five sixteenths to go. Jaramillo looks over his shoulder, sees has a two-length head start on Whip Me Into Shape, who's now after the leader second. These two have moved well clear of Sophie Germain, and they're at the top of the stretch. They went 45-1 and one for a half mile. Here's Whip Me Into Shape on the outside of Sammy Sunshine, and Whip Me Into Shape maybe puts a head in front. Sammy Sunshine will have to do better than that, as Whip Me Into Shape has now overhauled the big favorite. Sammy Sunshine defeated and defeated on the square by Whip Me Into Shape, who's a two-length winner. Sammy Sunshine second, Cotton to you third, Enigmatica then Sophie Germain in 110 and 3. Big favorite goes up in smoke here in today's eighth race, but she had only herself to blame as number five whipped me into shape, just outran Sammy Sunshine inside the final eighth of a mile, giving Jose Bautista his second winner of the day. The trainer Yvonne Belsor and owner Bruno Schickendanz. To the ninth and final race, five furlongs over the turf, maiden claimers in for a price tag of 12,500. Scratch the 13 and 14. Field of 12. Favorites included four, Cloudy Day, and 10, Jezebel Jones. And runners away. Tie badge missed the start, four lengths. Good start out wide for Grace's Wildcat from between horses. Cloudy Day reaches out to challenge. All in girl away in the top flight. She'll land now second. Into fourth is Tropical Yolo, then saving ground five up Orosa. Far outside goes Black Ruby, total treasure between. It's a length and a half back to Broadway Peggy, racing three clear of Ty Badge and Perla Preciosa. And at the back of the field, Jezebel Jones as they round the far turn. Cloudy Day has the lead by a neck. All in girl on the outside. Second, Tropical Yolo at the rail is third. That's all for Wildcat Grace tacking on Total Treasure. Two back to it, improving Broadway Peggy. And they're at the top of the stretch. Cloudy Day off the turn with a lead. All in girl. Takes a run at her from second. From the outside and Total Treasure third. Eighth of a mile to go. Cloudy Day strong up front and moves to a four-length lead. Down inside Broadway Peggy trying to get into second, but nobody catches Cloudy Day. Cloudy Day give Jaramillo a grand slam. Second Broadway Peggy third. It's all in girl, and fourth was Total Treasure, photo fifth, Tropical Yolo, or Tie Badge in 55 and four. Number four, Cloudy Day took all the late money in today's ninth race, and that late money was well spent as she went gate to wire with an authoritative maiden score. Trainer Henry Calazzo and owner Dr. Cornelius Link. The winning rider for his fourth win of the day, Misael Jaramillo.
Number three, Broadway Peggy was second. Number eight, All In Girl ran third. We have carryovers going into Thursday's program in both the Super High Five and the Rainbow Six. And that's it, a hot hand on this Wednesday here, August 22nd, for jockey Amiseo Jaramillo and leading trainer Armando de la Cerda. The boys will be back at it tomorrow afternoon, a twilight Thursday, with a first race post of 2 p.m. Good night, everybody. Hit the hay. Hit the hay. I've been working all day. Hit the hay. Hit the hay. What do you say? Hit the hay. 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 Well, I'm tired. Let me tell you, Jack, I'm so tired. Oh, my aching back. Let's hit the hay. Hit the hay.